What's up Blade fam? So this is going to be a second beginner's guide video. This is after you've mastered how to balance, stand, stride. So after you've gotten the stride mastered, you'll notice now you've got some momentum or speed. In this video we're going to be covering two different things that you can use to help turn around or stop. Okay, so now you've got your stride, you're striding along, and you need to turn around or stop before you hit a wall. What you're gonna do is you're gonna throw this leg around. You're gonna carve your right foot or left foot, depending on which is more comfortable for you, and you're gonna take that edge and you're gonna draw a circle. Well, what that will do is just get you turned around before running into an obstacle or a person or something of that nature. Again, this is still at beginner level, so you shouldn't have that much speed. If you're hauling, that's a different way to stop. But if you're kind of coasting along and you have the ability to just turn, that's much better than running dead into a wall. So again, we're gonna be striding. So we've got our stride, we're feeling good. We've got it. Now I've got this wall coming up. I'm just gonna turn. So that stops me from checking the wall. I don't need to You don't wanna do that. All right, so that's gonna be your first way of swiveling stop. I don't know really what it's called, but that's what I told my son it was called, <laughs> swivel stop. After you've gotten that, there's another way of stopping. So let's go in this direction. So again, we pick up our momentum, we have our stride, but this time we're just gonna lay the back foot down into a T stop. So you're gonna drag that back foot and that will slow you down as well. Each braking or stopping technique is used in different ways. So I showed you how the swivel stop is for maybe beginner speed. The T stop is something that would be used for moderate speed. You're actually cooking or you're coming down a sidewalk or whatnot, that will help you. So in this stop, all you're gonna do is bring your boots together in the letter T. You're gonna transfer the majority of your weight to the front leg and hit more of a... So I guess it's more of a warrior pose, you know, if you practice yoga or are associated with that. You're gonna just put most of your weight in your front leading foot and drag that back foot, getting you to slow down. The third and final way to stop when you've got a lot of momentum, I'm gonna come around this rink and create momentum. Uh, this is called a power slide. So that is for when you're really cooking um, and you have the room to get into that stance. Now it's just like the T-stop except for in reverse. What you're doing on this is you're spinning a 180 and pushing down into the wheels and frame. So those two uh, ways of slowing yourself down or changing direction if you need to will help you. Um, if you're practicing in skating rinks and whatnot, you know that there's some times where you have to change your direction quickly or um, avoid running into another individual. So I hope you found this tutorial useful. Remember to stay balanced, keep your knees bent, stay loose, don't tighten up, and as you are growing and developing, to have fun with this. Alrighty guys, thanks again for all of the love and support. If you haven't already, like and subscribe. Do me a favor and hit that little bell down there. Give me a thumbs up if this video teaches you how to change your direction or swivel stop and T-stop. Till next time, keep the blade alive. Aloha.